Diana here with Long Ride Home. Um, if you're new here, make sure to hit subscribe and the notification button so you get new uh, you get a notification when we upload a new video. Um, I'm out here today with my friend Bay Cephalus, and we're just sort of taking a quick ride around the fields before we um, start working a little bit in the arena. Rupert recently recorded a poop picking ponderies and it was about why do we seem to find so many people within the horse world that are just um, let's just say not the most happy not the most fun to be around and just generally a little bit grumpy and um, I wanted to well, while we were recording it I um, what popped into my mind is um, the Marlboro man um, the ones of you who are old enough to remember the old Marlboro um, commercials of the lone cowboy and his dog riding into the sunset off in the Monument Valley or similar areas. I, I do not like smoking and I am not in no way telling people here to go out and have a fag just because, you know, it's a cool image. But that image for me popped to my mind and I think the reason why it did was when Rupert was talking about um, why it seems so many people so unhappy, I, what, what came to my mind was that there seems to be, at least here in Germany, sort of a real fascination with that wild west life which re without really knowing anything that has to do with it. It's just that sort of image of the lone person and his horse and his dog in the sunset and I think what's important here it's sort of the, the same idea with that we always think the grass is greener on the other side of the fence which is a whole other thing one could discuss because um, I'm currently looking into um, Zach, as, as some of you know Zach has um, sweet itch and we're sort of trying to get it under control and I'm looking into the whole idea with um, that it could also have something to do with the amount of sugar that he's getting here and the good German grass especially when it sort of goes in shock because it's a bit short and sort of starting to push the last really nice big green fat blades out are just full of um, of fructose which um, as you I'm sure know can also cause all sorts of issues like laminitis etc but apparently can also have to do with the skin so is the is the greener grass always a good thing or can the greener grass actually be an absolute illusion that of something that is not good for us at all and I think it's the same sort of idea with anything that is romanticized without really understanding what's behind it and I feel we all get into um, horses probably especially if we get into horses a bit later because there's a real sort of aspect of freedom attached to it and then we're busy in the arena riding around trying to learn all these skills and trying to figure out how do I do my leg and my hand and my body and not tighten my butt and everything at the same time and um, we lose a bit track of why we got into it in the first place because we just were looking sort of for a certain set of a, a certain way of life and um, freedom and suddenly we find ourselves in an odd um, cycle downward spiral cycle of perfection and I have the feeling a lot of riders suffer from that. I think it's actually a suffering from. And if we look at, I, you know, once once I started to think about this sort of idea of freedom, of course people say, yeah, I would love to go ride out and with friends, etc. But people also want to ride really well. And when we look at how we learn to ride really well, it's me and my horse in the arena trying to accomplish something that is really rather difficult i don't think there's i at least i can't think of any other sort of sports where that's sort of the case where you're that alone and the the variables are that different from person to person if i sit on boo it's a different set of um 
uh, uh, I don't want to say problems to solve because it's really not a problem, but it's a different sort of set of rules that, that, that we write by a bit than if I'm sitting on Helios or Hidalgo or so, despite the fact that they're actually even brothers, they're just di different and therefore they respond different to different things. And if I look at other sports, if I, there's very, very rarely sort of, a, let's just call it a friendly match because the boys that go out play soccer, yeah, they have their games and yeah, they have their trainings, but how often are they just on the soccer field just to play? And they mix teams and they mix groups and they sometimes one is the goalie and sometimes the other one is the goalie. And I think with games like that, it's much, much easier. I, I don't know enough about things like gymnasts or, or figure skaters or something like that, but I can imagine that, that you know, like, my daughter Freya loves to sort of throw, she's not she's not in, in any sort of gymnastic program, but she loves to throw cartwheels. So when she's out with her friends, they're sort of, you know, having friendly matches around cartwheels there. Um, how many cartwheels can I throw from here to the end of the, of, of the parking lot or wherever they are? And those sort of friendly matches don't, um, much happen within the horse world i think it's either me and my horse performing and it needs to be perfect and um what what, what we do a lot in in lessons actually is when the horse responds to something not in the right way but it's sort of the right act the right direction we absolutely he must be he must be uh, praised for that because I am sitting, me monkey, sitting on zebra, and I can't tell him, boo, I would, I mean, I can't say that to visualize and make it easier and clearer for me, but if I say boo up there, I would like to have a PF, and then I would like to have a passage, and then we do three times 10 Ps the rest of the path. Well, he doesn't really understand it like that. If I, I need to, with my body, give him the right ace, and that's all just a difficult thing to learn. So why are we not, treating ourselves or allowing ourselves to come together in a group and have those friendly matches where we're not coming to compete and win or whatever but where we all just come together to learn at the end of the day and i think because we don't do that we then sort of see those images of the grass is greener or um the marlboro man fascination or whatever it is and um get a bit miserable because we don't have it and we want it. And the way we're approaching it is just not a way that, you know, is, is geared to mostly allow me happiness. Um, so what I would like to challenge you is well, one, of course, comment and see, you know, let me know what, what you think about that. Maybe you have a completely different, um, uh, 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 picture and maybe it's uh, just me being weird and thinking everybody else is grumpy and it's actually me the one that's grumpy I don't know but um, that's how it you know sort of comes across to me and I feel I feel we can all help each other that way um, by um, yeah having friendly matches and really looking at you know what what's good on my side of the fence maybe the not too rich grass is actually exactly what I need. And maybe with the right people in my life and the right riots group, I can, I can come back to that happiness. And that doesn't mean that I shouldn't be, you know, um, aspiring or wishing for doing a uh, long distance red three yellow stone or something. Of course you can do that, but you shouldn't make your happiness depending on it, I think. Um, so let us know. Again, like usual, join us on Facebook, on Instagram. Make sure to click subscribe here. And with that, I'm going to turn, like usually, the camera between the ears and we'll trot on a bit. Let's go, babies. <laughs>